I would rather have one Kathy Clean or one Hard Fire Books and my cadre of friends and all of the armies of Amazon and Barnes and Noble. So thank you, Kathy, for making this possible. Just a very, very quick story on my family. Um, many, many, many years ago, there were, I mean, I don't know, 12, 13 years ago, I had never written. I wanted to write a book, but I just didn't have the courage to do it. Linda always encouraged me, and I had a thousand reasons, you know, not to do it. Nobody would read my stuff. I'm not smart enough or whatever. But everybody in here is, we, we're all either parents or we've been parented. How do we raise our kids? Don't be afraid to try. Never uh, turn your back on the challenge. And if you fail, big deal. You get up, you dust off your britches, and you go again. So one night we were sitting at the table. Linda was at, uh, Egged me a little bit about what I was going to write, and I had some more excuses. This guy, he used to be cute many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little guy who said he had his big glasses on, and he looked at me and he said, So, Dad, what's your excuse this week? <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, that, that hit me, and I had to go back and, and think about that, and I realized. I was two things. I was a hypocrite and I was a coward. So within two weeks of that, I started writing, and I can't believe it. Three books later, here we are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mount Evans is is a huge part of my life. They're a huge part of this community, and uh, I think of no other better way to say it than what I wrote in the dedication. Waltzing with an Echo is dedicated to Mount Evans Home Health Care and Hospice of Evergreen, Colorado. Thank you for the mercy and compassion you offer to so many during their most difficult times. Because of you, walking the Lonesome Valley is not nearly so lonely. Oh, how our world needs more people like you. And truer words were never said. Thank you for Mount Evans for our community. And thank you, Mount Evans, for what you've done for me personally. And as a side note, of Mount Evans, Beth Foster did the, uh, the cover art for this book. So thank you to Mount Evans. And that's enough nonsense from Dale. <laughs> <laughs>